Saw the seagull. I caught one before by accident. Oh, got, oh, got him that time. I did, he flew into it, it's not my fault. Got him. Got him that time. I can't use this. Alright, let's go. That makes a good one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another windy episode of Bee Fishing. This episode is sponsored by Seekway. Seekway reached out to me and said, hey Brett, we've seen some of your videos. Your shoes are either Crocs or you're wearing some cheap knockoff shoe, water shoe there. We're gonna hook you up with some shoes. Guys, these shoes are great. I've worn them in the last couple videos. Y'all have actually commented a couple times on them. Uh, I'm showing you right now. That's why I'm super matchy matchy with the gray on gray on gray with the hat. Um, really, really love these shoes. You guys need to go check them out. You can get 30% off by using the code Fishing Outdoors. I'll leave a link in the description or you can go straight to Amazon and pick them up there. Really, really good shoe, affordable price. And look at the tread pattern on that. Look at that. Looks like a foot. So go check them out and uh, I appreciate them sponsoring us. Remember, support those who support me um, in this channel and uh, just go pick them up. I think they're like 25 bucks. Can't beat that for a water shoe. We are out in the Gulf of Mexico. We're actually in the bay. We're doing a little bit of inshore fishing. We're fishing with shallow seas charters. I used them last year. Captain Lee, I'm gonna call you stud of the sea. Is that fine? Yeah. Captain Lee, stud of the sea back there. You gotta check this guy out if you're gonna be in the Port St. Joe area. He's always putting us on fish. Got me and Lojo on fish last year. He's going to get me on fish this year. He's got Chris behind me, behind the camera right there. Chris, say hello. Hello. You'll see him in the video. Hopefully we're gonna be out here targeting a redfish, a flounder, trout, really anything that'll bite. We're gonna try to go for the trifecta. We'll see what happens. You know, some of these fish can be finicky at different times of the year, but really right now in September, this is redfish season. Redfish are, I mean, schooling everywhere. Hopefully we can get on a good redfish bite. You guys stay tuned. Let's do it. Get on them, buddy. That's, that's actually right-handed. Me and you just... Huh? I know. We're weird. Oh, oh. Are these circle hooks? Yeah. Okay. Don't set that's the hook. A, that's a circle hook. That's a, that's a okay, set, set the hook on yours, Chris. I'm, I'm not setting the hook on mine. Got him. What do we have? Yep. First blood. Later, guy. Nobody hit it since they got in the water. Got him that time. I can't use this. That's any real. Sweet. He might make it this close. 17. Not a keeper. Not nope, a keeper. Not a keeper. We'll let him lose the spot another day. Are you okay if I switch this handle to the other side? Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little awkward, isn't it? It is for me. <laughs> I was wondering when you were fighting, I was, I was kind of laughing over here. Yeah, right? it wasn't funny. you were going. Well, I didn't have my hand in the right spot. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but I was like, he must not fish much. <laughs> he was running with it. Yep, trout. Short trout. Oh, that's a nice one. I still got my bait. I can catch another one. You want to pitch your hook because you might not catch any? Get it back in the water, you jerk.
welcome. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I caught that one with one hand. <laughs> well, I had two fish on. I appreciate that. Rock up there. There you go. No, it's not leader. Oh, look at the little muscle. Look where he's going. There you go. That's a quality one there. Why do you always give me so much instruction? Hey, I'm Buddy, when he's pulling, I can't. We'll get him. You got to get him a little closer. <laughs> he ain't got a three foot pole on his net. <laughs> you had your opportunity and you missed. It's about time. My goodness, I gotta do all the work for you. It's actually yours, Chris. Actually, I caught both of them. Whatever, okay, but I reeled it in. <laughs> and as every five year old knows, that means you caught it. Like about where that. Pelican, yeah, seagull, pellet, not, it's the, obviously not a pelican. That is, I almost called that a pelican. I'm so smart. That's why I'm not catching fish. I don't even know what kind of, what any of these animals are. Oh, good. No, he took the fish from the, from the line. At least he didn't get the hook in his mouth. That's, it's a good. Hook. It's a good thing. It's a circle hook. I almost had that seagull. That seagull just took my bait. He's looking at you. Now. Thanks, sir. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Caught a seagull. I've caught one before by accident. I threw a line out there, and I never saw it hit the water. Nothing. And all of a sudden, my line just started getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And I pulled up, and it was a freaking seagull. A few moments later. Yeah. I can take it in my he's line. Going, he's just gonna camp right there. Oh, got, oh, got him at time. Oh, oh God. Chris. I did, he flew into it. It's not my fault. <laughs> Come this way. I'll get you off. Get, am I filming? I need to know if I'm filming. Now I'm gonna get about three or four. They keep going around him. Like surf fishing. You got a kite on him. <laughs> I can get him in, I'll get him off. What'd you hook, Chris? <laughs> oh. Hold on, we'll get you off. As long as you don't bite the crap out of me. That's why I say I think he just wrapped up in it. Ow, ow. Grab the fire right there on the side. Let's see, Let's see where it goes. There should be some snips right there on the top, Chris. Yep. There you go. Alright. Um, he should be free of the line. Yeah, he's not free of my finger, so <laughs> I gotta give him a minute. Good. All right, can you please catch a fish now and not a bird? They're in the <laughs> water, my friend, not in the air. That's a flying fish. No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Right return, red right return. What? Red right return. What does that mean? When you come in, you have the red poles on the right hand side of the boat. Remember, return. I already told you. I just go until I run into something or I just stop. My boat's felt it before. I know it. That skid repair video has done really well for our channel. <laughs> <laughs> we had a blast. Got on some big red fish. Um, one that may or may not have been in this video, but it's definitely going to be in the mystery tackle box video. We'll see if they use it or not. And then, uh, Chris, you got on a giant trout, bud. 
like a huge one. I, I have to tell everybody, you made a like five and a half, six hour trip down for one day. Yeah. Like you drove down last night, stayed the night, you went on the boat and fished and you're about to go home. That's right. You're devoted. I would have been like, nah, I don't know. That's 12 <laughs> hours of travel for eight hours of fishing. I don't know about that. It's balanced. We got Captain Lee over here. He is loading up the fish. We're going to get those filleted up. Then we're going to go cook them. So hopefully this will be a catch and cook if I know how to cook them. If you're ever in the area of Port St. Joe, Mexico Beach, uh, Cape San Blas, Florida, anywhere in that area, Apalachicola, hit the man up. I'm going to leave a link in the description so y'all can go check him out. And you can book directly from his website. That's how I did it. Um, but again, I fished with him last year. And also, go follow him on Instagram. I'm going to put his Instagram down there. Follow the man on Instagram. I guess that's going to do it. For this segment, it's going to do it. I've got to get back to the house. We'll see if we can't cook these fish. So we'll see y'all in a bit. Boom. Redfish. All right, so I'm straight up using Chris's recipe on this. I've got redfish soaking in some milk. It takes out the gaminess just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that redfish. We're going to put a little bit of mayonnaise on it. Just a very, very thin layer. I know what you're thinking. I thought the same thing. Gross. But it's supposed to actually not have any flavor effect on it. It just helps the uh, breadcrumbs stick to it. And then we're gonna take some breadcrumbs, wrap it all up in it, and uh, then we're gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on it. Parmesan crusted redfish. I think that's what the name of it is. If not, that's what we're freaking calling it. So let's do that. Giant fillets, huge redfish fillets. All right, so we're gonna take the old mayonnaise. We're gonna put some of this on there. I don't know any other way to do it other than just rub it on there with your hands. A little bit like this. You don't like the idea of mayonnaise. If it is just that repulsive to you, you can easily use egg. I'm not doing that clearly because, well, I've got mayonnaise on my hands now. There's probably a lot of y'all at home that are homemakers yelling at your screens right now. I'll tell you right now, I'm not a chef. I think that's pretty obvious. Last but not least, we're gonna take a little bit of Parmesan, sprinkle that on there. It's probably way too much, but we're gonna go with it. And then we pop it in the oven in three, two. There you go. So we've done a little bit of a cooking now, and this thing looks to be done. So we're gonna try a little bit of a taste test. Hope it's cooked all the way. I'm not very good at this. Oh yeah, she's cooked. She's totally cooked. We're gonna take a little bit out of the middle right there. Look at that. Look at that. Let's try a little bit. Mm. Not bad at all. A little Parmesan, a little bit of breadcrumbs, a little bit of mayo, milk, boom. That's all you gotta do. All right guys, so I've got three other fillets that are just that size, the same size, and then I've also got two trout fillets. Me and Chris ended up splitting everything down the middle. So I think he walked away with three redfish fillets and uh, two trout fillets as well. So uh, we're gonna be feeding the fam with uh, what we did on that trip. If you guys are interested, again, go ahead, check out Shallow, sea, Shallow Seas Charters. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Go check out Captain Lee if you're in the area. Um, always good about putting us on some fish and uh, helping us film this video today. So again, if you guys don't mind, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the red subscribe button, turn it from red to gray. Hit the ding dong notifications. You'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. All that is absolutely free to subscribe and uh, it helps out my channel a lot. Costs you nothing, means a lot to me. So hit that subscribe button for me, as well as leave a comment on anything that you would like to see us do. If you uh, like the inshore stuff, hang in there. Maybe you'll get something next year. Um, unless we uh, make a special trip, which me and Chris have considered and talked about. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and we will catch you on the next one. Stay hook set ready, everybody.